Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Austin. I'm an employment specialist with VCU's Business Connections, and I'm going to be talking to you today about leisure activities that you can do at home during COVID-19 isolation. So why is it important to engage in leisure activities? We all need a break, especially now, it's really easy to get stressed and to stay in a negative mindset. The goal of this presentation is to give you some resources and ideas for leisure activities that you can do at home. Adding any of these activities to your schedule is a great way to give yourself something to look forward to each week, and doing this can also add an element of consistency. This can help make your life feel more normal and routine during this time. Also, it's a great way to learn something new, take care of yourself, and give yourself a break. So let's talk about reading. Reading is a great way to, to take a break and step away from reality for a while. Try reading a new book or even rereading one of your favorites. Pick a book that you want to read, keeping in mind age appropriate themes and reading levels. If traditional novels aren't your thing, try listening to an audiobook or reading a graphic novel instead. If you're looking for an option for storybooks, there are resources for virtual storybook readings. This is a great way to listen to stories with younger children. Um, I've listed a few links for virtual storybook readings as well as an audiobook website. Puzzles are a great way to relax by focusing your mind on one task. There are lots of different kinds of puzzles and it's totally up to you what you choose. You could try a traditional picture puzzle box or you could try a crossword or even a Sudoku puzzle. Puzzles of all kinds can help keep your mind sharp by developing your problem solving skills and focus. You may need to try a few different kinds of puzzles to figure out which one you enjoy the most. Try something new in the kitchen. Cooking is a great way to relax and learn some new skills at the same time. You can try cooking something new by following a virtual tutorial like a YouTube video or even a cooking channel video. If you're feeling inspired, you could try cooking without a recipe. Cooking is a great option to get creative in a hands-on way. Practice with your cooking utensils and learn how to make something new and tasty. Arts and crafts are a fun way to channel your creativity into a physical object. That could be painting, sculpting, drawing, or creating figures. There are many art projects that you can try. The possibilities really are endless. It isn't about perfection, but focus on the experience of creating your art. There are tutorials online if you like to follow instructions, or you can let your imagination guide you instead. So getting outside is a great way to incorporate being active into your schedule. You can try taking a walk, um, make sure that you practice crossing the street safely. Play a sport you enjoy, tennis, basketball, soccer, or anything else that you can think of and have access to. If you have a garden, planting and tending to your plants is another great option. If you use that opportunity, you can practice using gardening tools like shovels, rakes, and clippers. Practice your jump roping skills, try a hula hoop, and ride your bike or your scooter but don't forget to wear your appropriate safety gear, like helmets or knee pads. Don't forget to dedicate time to take care of yourself. Pampering yourself and finding activities that make you feel good are great ways to relax. A few ideas for you can be manicures and pedicures, face masks, using a deep conditioner in your hair, or taking a bubble bath. You could even just take extra time washing your face and applying lotion or any skincare that you enjoy. Whatever you choose is totally personal and up to you, but just dedicate some time for yourself to make you feel good. So I wanna talk about TV and movies. Pick something to watch that you enjoy. Cartoons, documentaries, movies, there's so many possibilities. You can stream movies and shows online through services like Hulu and Netflix, or if you have cable, you can watch programs on TV. Keep in mind your screen time. It's easy to spend lots of time watching a show or movies, but try to be mindful of how much time you spend in front of the TV. For a lot of people, working out is a great way to relax your mind and channel any stress in a healthy way. Working out can be a scary word for some, but don't let it intimidate you. 
Being active can be something as simple as going for a walk, a light jog, or even just stretching out your muscles. If you want to incorporate a workout routine into your schedule, there are virtual tutorials that can guide you. You can even practice yoga at home to improve your balance, flexibility, and mindfulness. Try doing a few sit-ups if you're able, or a similar exercise. Thank you for joining me to talk about the importance of leisure activities during the COVID-19 shutdown. Make sure to add some of these activities to your schedule today.